So let's say you're given the decimal, 0 0.6666, and those sixes they keep repeating. How do you get that to be a fraction? So it's a little bit difficult because this is a repeating fraction. This just keeps going. So here's one way to do it. You could say x equals 0 0.6666 keeps going. So that's the start. And if we could get this to have a whole number in it, that would be really helpful. So why don't we multiply this by 10? That would give us 6.66666 repeating. But we have to do that to both sides. This is algebra. So 10 times x, that's 10x. And then 10 times 0 0.66666 repeating is 6.6666 repeating. All right, that's better. We have a whole number here. And if we could get rid of this part right here, then we'd have all whole numbers. It'd be a lot easier to work with. So what we'll do, we're just going to take this here and subtract that from our 6.66666 repeating. So let's do that. But we can't just do it to this side. We need to do it to this side as well. And here's the trick. Let's move this over a little bit. 0 0.66666 and so on. That right here, that's equal to x. So we could just put 10x minus x. And this x here, that's the same thing as this number here. That's what we said when we started. So now we have 10x minus x. That's 9x. And that equals well, this right here. That's the same as this right here. And when we subtract them, we get 0. So they're gone and we're left with 6. 9x equals 6. That looks a lot better. We divide 9 by 9 here, and then 6 by 9. 9 over 9 is 1, so we can forget about those. x equals 6 ninths. And we could simplify that, because 3 goes into 6. 2 times 3 is 6, so 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and we end up with 2 thirds. So that's how you convert the decimal, 0 0.6666, that repeats here, to a fraction. It's a little bit involved. Maybe give it a try yourself, and if you have problems, come back to this video and watch. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.